Hello everybody. So this is a flashback video of December 12th, 2022. Looking at my hair, it is very healthy. It is blowing in the wind. And at this point in my lock journey, I was one year and four months locked. And I was just super excited to have stuck with the journey that long. I knew that when I was on my lock journey that I was in it for the long haul because I have done everything with my hair, like everything from fades to twists to braids and sew-ins, like everything, okay? <laughs> Locks are the only thing that I haven't done at that point when I decided to start my lock journey. And I was like, you know what? It's time. Because honestly, I was always changing my hair up. I was always doing different things. And after a while, I was like, I just want to stick to one look. You know how like you have this signature look? I wanted my signature look. And plus, I was just tired of thinking of new hairstyles every single week. I just wanted to simplify it and see how my hair would look if it was locked. And I'm so happy I did that because I don't want to go back <laughs> to loose hair anymore. Loose hair was fun and all of that. I enjoyed it. But right now, I am so in love with my locks. So... All of that to say, this is where I was <laughs> December 12th, 2022. And I was honestly just looking forward to some more growth, looking forward to playing with like maybe coloring it just a little bit. And I ended up doing that, but that wasn't until March of 2024. So I waited a while. I wanted to be sure that I wanted to uh, do my hair. So I mean, dye my hair. And that's pretty much it. I'm just looking at my hair now. It's looking very healthy, very happy. And it's starting to lock down to the ends. So this is in January 2023. And I was looking at my hair and this was actually a video where I was talking about my hair. Um, I didn't really have a lot to say, but I am looking at it now. And you can see how full my hair is. Um, I have 121 locks. So I think that's a good number for me because it doesn't look like a whole bunch of locks. It's just really full. I'm looking at the shape of it. This is like right after a retwist and I'm actually loving my hair. I didn't notice that I was starting to lose some of my parting. It wasn't as straight as it was when I first started my locks. However, in time I would go back and repart my parts to make them straighter, but I left it as is for a while and it wasn't until recently where I actually did go back and start doing them but this is around the time where I first did a crochet type of interlocking with my hair and that was a fun experience I feel like I didn't really do it the traditional or correct way according to probably what a loctician would say but it's been working for me so i just do that area like the front of my hair around the perimeter and basically where my parting is to where left right and middle so that's what i do every now and then but this was like the first time i was actually talking about it and the first time i actually had tried it and so far so good I really enjoyed that part. And I just like swinging my hair, as you can see. It's looking very, very healthy, very happy with the way my hair turned out. I feel like locking it is so much better than the things I was doing before. 
I'm looking in the mirror and I'm seeing like, wow, look at my hair. It has really come a long way. I had to go ahead and get the slow-mo going <laughs> just so you can see how my hair is moving, is swinging, is shaking. That is my absolutely most favorite thing about my locks. It's the movement that I get. It just feels so freeing and I love it. <laughs> so this is where I was in December of 2022 and January of 2023 with my lock journey. I'm really enjoying looking back and seeing my growth. Um, but that's all for this video. If you made it this far, thank you so much. You are a real one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, start your own lock journey if you are inspired. And if you're on a lock journey, stay on it. All right. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.